first, before we take questions, just really uh, thanking my God for blessing me with another opportunity uh, to coach. I want to thank my family and my friends and the Hawks organization uh, for all their support uh, that they've given me uh, over this season. Um, just really feel blessed to have another opportunity uh, with a really a great group of guys to uh, coach basketball again. So uh, I want to uh, say that uh, to all those folks. Thank you. And I apologize for interrupting the opening statement. No problem. Uh, let's go to Sarah. Hey, Nate, um, just how proud are you of the guy's ability to to get this done and close this series out in, in five games? Well, they continue to just show growth. Uh, this closeout game uh, we knew would be uh, the hardest game really of the season and of this series for us. And these guys came in, they kept their focus uh, tonight. They stuck with the game plan. They believed uh, that they could do it and uh, they did it, you know, so it's just, uh, uh, they continue to show growth uh, each game. You know, we have been talking about really the, the finish uh, for a long time now. And, uh, you know, at the beginning of the season, uh, they weren't finishing games. Uh, we started to uh, finish games and uh, tonight we, we finished a series, which uh, was an important big step for this team. Uh, just, you know, their focus uh, for 48 minutes uh, coming into a hostile situation, you know, keeping their poise and executing uh, the game plan uh, just shows a lot of growth with this group. I know it's it's a team win, um, but Trey being a leader on this team, um, just what can you say about the way he was able to kind of lead the team during this series to, to victory? I mean, he's the key. You know, he's the guy that establishes our tempo. Uh, you know, he's a fearless uh, player. And, you know, uh, every game, you know, he brings and he leaves everything that he has out on the floor. Uh, and again, tonight we needed that. Uh, he We wanted our guys to be the aggressors. Uh, tonight, and it starts with Trey. And I thought he did a good job of establishing that tempo early, you know, getting us out, uh, getting us into transition, uh, you know, finding uh, guys on the perimeter. Uh, shot wasn't falling early in the game, but he stuck with it, and it started to fall for him in the second half. But, you know, it really starts with, with Trey uh, establishing uh, the tempo. Chris Kirshner. And you kind of mentioned it in your opening statement, but what does this mean for you just on a personal level with where you came in from, you know, being an assistant coach to taking over in the middle of the season to having, you know, uh, your, your um, playoff experience and early in Indiana, what does this mean for you personally? It's, it's special. It, it really is, you know, um, to uh, advance with this team, this young team, uh, you know, in, in, and in the situation that uh, we had to uh, work, you know, taking over midseason, not really uh, having an opportunity to change a lot, uh, but really relying on uh, the coaching staff and the players. And, uh, you know, they believed in, you know, things that I was uh, saying and I wanted them to do. And, uh, you know, we was able uh, to turn it around. So, uh, it's, it's always special to uh, to win games, but to take that next step and, and win a series, uh, you know, with this group, really kind of a new group, uh, it's, it's really special for me. Steve Hummer. Yeah, Nate, uh, Clint, after putting himself out there a little bit, how do you think he responded tonight? You know, well, we talked about that, and, you know, I, I've always uh, felt that, you know, you allow the, the your game to to speak for you. Um, you allow the scoreboard to speak for you. And, you know, Clint made some comments. And, you know, what we said was uh, we got to have his back. And uh, I thought our guys uh, tonight, they they stepped up and they had his back. I thought Clint played a, a, a game to back up, uh, you know, some of the things that he said, uh, you know, but we you don't play we, we don't play the game uh 
in the press. Uh, I didn't feel that really uh, New York needed that to uh, be motivated to play, uh, but it was set. And, uh, you know, for us, we needed to keep our focus uh, tonight. Uh, we needed to be the aggressors, uh, play the game that we've been playing, and, uh, you know, just finish this series. We wanted to finish it here tonight and not uh, relax and, and, and try to finish it uh, in Atlanta. And I thought our guys kept their focus uh, tonight. We were disciplined in our game plan. And, uh, you know, they beat a, a really good New York team. Uh, Clint was always, has always been obviously very important in the, in the defense that this team plays, specific to tonight. Uh, how did you see him affecting the game on that end of the floor? Well, he's, he's the anchor. You know, for us uh, defensively, you know, he's been the guy all season long that's been cleaning up our mistakes, our breakdowns on the perimeter. Uh, he did a really good job of, uh, you know, really shadowing uh, Randu and their their ball handlers attacking the basket. Uh, did an excellent job of, of, of the, you know, executing the game plan. And then he had to rebound the ball. Uh, you know, we, we, we want our guys to come in and help on the boards, but Clint has been doing a really solid job of rebounding the basketball. We knew that was big against this team. They were really physical in the paint. And uh, he held his ground against Noel and, and, and Gibson. And, uh, you know, that was the difference in the game. We, we, we needed to win uh, the hustle game. Thanks. Jeff Schultz. Nate, obviously Trey's play speaks for itself, itself but what did he show you in this playoff series from a standpoint of resilience, toughness, and, and leadership in this playoff you know, series? He's, he's fearless, and he has uh, a skill uh, that you need in the playoffs. Uh, you need a guy that is capable of uh, getting baskets, scoring points for you. Uh, you know, the NBA has gone to a switching uh, one through five. And in this game, in the playoffs, you got to have guys that can win their matchups when they are trying to switch or take a particular player out. Uh, Trey has that ability uh, to win the matchup. Uh, you know, so if you're trapping him, he's, he's, he's passing the ball. If you're switching on him uh, or trying to switch a bigger player on him, uh, he's capable of winning that matchup. You need that in the playoffs. And, uh, you know, so I, I think he's built uh, for this time of the season uh, with his, he's just fearless out there. You know, uh, he, he's very confident in, in what uh, he brings to the floor. And uh, you need that uh, this time of the season. So it, showing his growth, getting his teammates involved while uh, continuing to be aggressive, uh, puts a lot of pressure on that opponent to figure out ways to stop him. I know you've seen a lot of great athletes and a lot of great players in the NBA who could not perform in the postseason. You didn't really know that until they got to the postseason. Um, was there any question in your mind about Trey before this playoff series until because no. we hadn't seen him yet? Okay. No, basically I texted him before the playoffs started and told him he was built for this time of the season. And he is, uh, he, he's just built for this time of the season with the confidence that he brings to the floor, uh, his skill level for his skill, scoring the basket, uh, basketball and creating opportunities. Uh, it's, it's really tough to game plan against him. And, uh, you know, he just has to, continue to take what the defense has given him. And I thought he did a, a really uh, good job in this series of managing uh, that out on the floor. Fred Khalil. Hey coach, if you could just talk about, I know Trey obviously had a great series and a great run, but some of the complimentary guys like uh, DeAndre Hunter and those other guys, just talk about how they kind of filled in the blanks for you, so to speak in this series. This is a team effort. Uh, it, it doesn't happen if 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 we we don't have our other guys playing well. Uh, DeAndre had the uh, the assignment of guarding Randall this entire series, and that was the difference. Uh, we uh, we we didn't have him uh, during the season when we were playing against New York. 
Uh, we put him on Randall to guard Randall. Uh, when Rose got hot, uh, he we switched him on uh, Rose. So he had to guard both of those guys. And he really did a, a, a solid job of making them work, uh, keeping them in front, not giving them anything easy. And uh, it really started with him, you know. So uh, this was definitely a team effort, uh, you know, with Bogey uh, playing well. Uh, John, you know, the, other than the one game where he got into foul trouble, we had to find ways to keep him on the floor. And, and part, you know, the, uh, the way we wanted to do that was not allow him to guard Randall early, uh, put Dre on him. I thought Dre did a nice job of uh, challenging every catch, every dribble, uh, getting underneath these guys. And uh, I thought our pressure was good from everybody. So it wasn't yeah, Trey uh, did put up some big numbers, but defensively, uh, our team defense was really good. I thought we really got pressure on the ball. Uh, our weak side was uh, really aggressive and did a good job of uh, basically cutting off half of the floor and forcing them to shoot over the top. Kevin Chenard. Hey, Coach, after game two, you noted uh, how physical the Knicks were especially with regard to screens and stuff like that. And from game three on, it seemed like you kind of matched their level of physicality. Was there one player or coach who kind of nudged you in that direction or kind of led the charge? No, no. We talked about that before game one. Uh, but that physical play didn't, didn't show up until game two in the second half. Uh, I thought the third, uh, the third and fourth quarter, the New York that we talked about uh, showed up and they started the physical play. So no one had to nudge me. Uh, I've been in this position many a times and it's just playoff basketball. Uh, it wasn't anything that uh, we hadn't seen. Um, I thought it showed up the second half uh, in, in game two where New York came out and they just punched us in the mouth. And they got physical and, you know, they had a couple of flagrant fouls. And, uh, you know, so we showed that video. Of this is what we expected uh, in game one, but it, we, it really didn't show up until game two. And uh, it's playoff basketball. You got to keep your head in situations like that, play through it. Uh, it can't become a distraction. I thought our guys really did a good job of handling that. Chris Kirshner. Obviously, you guys had several players who didn't have any postseason experience entering this playoffs. What do you feel like that group collectively showed throughout this series? Pretty much what they've been showing um, really all season. You know, uh, we, we talked about being calm and being clear and being connected out there on the floor, on both ends of the floor. And uh, we talked about it in the fourth quarter for most of the season. Going into the playoffs because of the intensity going up, uh, that calm, clear connection, uh, being connected, needed to uh, happen for 48 minutes. And I thought they showed that. I thought they showed poise uh, throughout the game. I thought they, was clear, they uh, uh, was clear about what they needed to do on both ends of the, of the floor as far as executing the game plan. And they showed uh, that they were connected out there, executing uh, the defensive game plan as well as the office of game plan. So they just showed growth, showed uh, maturity, uh, you know, uh, during this season and certainly uh, in these playoffs. Last one from Sarah Spencer. Hey, Nate. Um, I was wondering if you could share just kind of your message to the team after after winning this thing and also just what that locker room uh, was like. Well, you know, continue to believe, you know, that you can uh, win and uh, you can, you know, play this this time of the season. Uh, you know, we, we talk, we put belief, uh, believe and 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 our fists up on the board every single night. And that fist representing, you know, being connected and being tight. And, you know, the tighter uh, the fist, the more connected we are out on the floor. Uh, I feel that we can eventually take teams out. And I thought they showed a, a, a tight connection uh, tonight on both ends of the floor. 
uh, stand defense, uh, stand discipline uh, in what we were trying to do defensively, uh, stand discipline, uh, what we were trying to do offensively. And we continue to uh, try to do that every possession, execute on both ends of the floor, get tighter, be more connected. Uh, and they were able to uh, finish off uh, this series. So I'm really happy uh, that, you know, the things that we've, we've been talking about, they've been able to execute. And they can see that, uh, you know, working together works. Uh, believing uh, in each other, uh, trusting each other, uh, it works. Playing the game the right way, it works. And uh, they've been able to do that. And now we move on to uh, round two. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Coach. All right, thank you.